Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky 2.42 Normal mode playthrough with a dummy <laughs> I'm still laughing about yesterday's inventory debacle Alright, we uh, killed a pirate yesterday So today we need to talk to the armorer about that We also hired our farmer He's hiding back there He's really short There he is He's really, really short uh, yeah, I don't need that thing. Uh, so we have to talk to the armor. We have to talk to the farmer. We need to get some plants and, uh, we need to build our first biodome. So we'll need glass for that, which means frost wart first. Uh, let's just get started. Raw, raw. <laughs> Is it done? Have you purged these vile beans from our air? Yeah. Yeah, I killed him yesterday before I forgot about my inventory. I blame you. <laughs> There's both good news and bad news. Some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath, but this merely delays their righteous extermination. Hunt them down, interrogate them. <laughs> oh, are you tired? Sorry. I'll go after that in just a minute. <laughs> Coordinates received. I don't see a timer. So I think we can probably move along here. Uh, agricultural research. Hi. You're so cute. <laughs> this is a home of glass and metal, Traveler. It's in dire need of my touch. But no need to fear, for I come well equipped for such work. There is how you uh, plant basium. He's not done. <laughs> uh, your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt. The earth provides life uh, in death, after all. And apparently poop, because that's what basium is. Take this hydroponics tray and these gut flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we know how to make glass because the very first thing that the overseer teaches you is how to make glass. Uh, we can also make glass uh, with uh, silicate and uh, by digging, up, digging it up out of the ground. Sorry, I'm very distracted by that. I'll look somewhere else. <laughs> But what we're going to do is go get some supplies. We're going to get some uh, frostwort and um, uh, just a bunch of plants. And we need room for that. We also need to install the matter beam on the freighter to make our life a little bit easier. For that, we need 10 wiring looms and 3 sodium diodes. And a couple more antimatters. We can make that ourselves. Uh, sodium diodes three. Alrighty. Really have to go to a space station to get uh, ten wiring looms, or a uh, galactic trade terminal on a trade post. So space stations. So Naba. And uh, once we have the matter beam installed on the freighter, uh, we can bypass... Oh, stop that. We can bypass uh, any problems that we'll have with inventory by just dropping stuff right onto our freighter when we're in the middle of doing something. You notice I bought all 29 of those. I'm going to need more. If... Uh, if you want to uh, make some money on uh, wiring looms, you can by buying all of them, uh, selling them back, which kills the economy, and then buying them back again for super cheap. Going on to the next system, doing the same thing. Uh, but we have better ways of making money than crashing economies. I don't have anything against it. I'm just letting you know that that's one way of making money. 
I quite often buy all of the uh, wiring looms from one place and end up using them all. <laughs> We need elevators. We can fly through space at the speed of light. And we don't have elevators. And we can't put site-to-site -site transporters on our freighter. Not without changing the build uh, permissions. <laughs> oh, this isn't how you do this. <laughs> Technology. Uh, let's drop it in a corner. Here we go. I know, that doesn't look like a corner. Oh, I forgot to make the antimatter. Uh, there we go. Uh, it has to be in my suit. Silly. There we go. Right, we now have an adder, uh, a matter beam, which means uh, no matter where we go, we are in contact with our freighter. <laughs> talked a little bit about putting teleporters on your freighter. You can do that on PC. There's a lot of things you can do when you uh, go into your game files and change the permissions, including putting windows on your freighter. I know uh, Nirwana mentioned that the other day, and uh, God, I'd love to have windows on the freighter, but I'm not going to change my permissions to do that. Uh, let's look in our discoveries file. And... That is star bulb. I don't think I've actually landed on a frozen planet yet. Uh, that kind of looks frozen. There's got to be one there in Isu in Isukil. Isukil. <laughs> we also happen to have a base there in uh, Eskil. That's where the storm crystal planet is. I was telling you about the other day. I don't think that I dropped a uh, Romer Geo Bay at that base. I may have, but I don't think I did. But we don't need one now uh, because we can call our freighter and uh, just drop the Romer down on the planet uh, wherever we're at. As long as we're in a yellow star system. So we're going to need a whole lot more salvage frigate modules to get the stellar drives, as I call them. I don't think that's what they're really called, but uh, the stellar drives for the freighter. Once we have all the blueprints for the stellar drives for the freighter, you only need uh, the top blueprint uh, for indium uh, for blue star systems. I think it's A-class. So there's our base. What I'm looking for is to see if there's a frozen planet here. I uh, guess not. We'll have to go somewhere else. That's a really big system to not have a frozen planet. Uh, how many stars are, or planets are there? <laughs> I'm sure that we've seen one. Oh, first contact. I thought I saw a circle around it. I guess not. Where's the other planet? One of the many uses of first person is being able to find things easier because that central display on your ship uh, has a better view. That is not frozen. Alright, let's try this again. That one definitely has a circle around it. <laughs> I'm blind. I had taken the time to land on all the planets, which I normally do, in between episodes, we'd be a lot richer, because I would have scanned everything, and uh, <laughs> I would know where there's a frozen planet. Not 
frozen. Not frozen. Uh, there we go. Uh, safe and frozen. Oh dear. <laughs> I think he's gonna get to us. <laughs> Hi, nice cobalt. I mean, I could replace it, but I don't want to. Hi. Good grief. <laughs> Oops, not close enough. and planet go. <laughs> Alright, right there on the description of that planet, the very first thing it says in green is the planet biome plant. Uh, no matter what kind of planet you're going to. So uh, this one has frost crystal. We need a bunch of it. And I think we also need some facium. I don't think I have very much. Um, maybe I have around 50 or so, but that's not nearly enough. You can get uh, facium, you can buy it, you can get it from animals directly, you can get it from plants as well as a secondary. I'm going to go back into third person to make it easier to see what's on the surface. And remembering that I have uh, my graphics turned down pretty far, so it might be just easier to land than wait for things to render. Heard a bell. Yeah, I think we'll land and just make it faster. Uh, frozen tubers. There's an animal. Frostport. <laughs> oh, this planet has butterflies. Cool. There we go. <laughs> so we have a couple of defense shields uh, and a couple of life support modules. And there's a predator. Alright, I don't see a paw print. So, he must just be a nice T-Rex. <laughs> uh, you need the hazmat glove to do this. Pretty simple to install. You should already have it. Oh, whippy plant. Uh, because you needed to get it in order to uh, accomplish uh, some other uh, blueprint. It skips my mind which one now. Oh, I already got that one. Also, having your multi-tool set up a certain way. Now, I don't have the optical drill uh, yet, but if I had the opti optical drill, I would put it right here and put the advanced mining laser up here or down here. Um, and that would make it so that you get the maximum amount out of uh, harvesting. And I refer you to Zane's World. His mega stasis, the guy... Uh, mega guide for stasis devices <laughs> he explains how that works and why that works and uh, i'll link that below in the uh, description if you haven't seen the mega guide yet and you're interested in farming anything farming 
uh, gases or uh, farming plants or anything like that. He has a complete and thorough uh, guide that he just made um, for all of that. Did I get all those? How many did I get? Uh, 873. Um, probably enough for now. Let's get some facium. And we will make uh, some creature pellets. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Scanned all those guys. Now we just gotta wait for them to poop. <laughs> See if I can scan anything else while they're surrounding me. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm surrounded. <laughs> Here's some. I heard some poop. <laughs> There was, if you're not aware of it, uh, before Beyond dropped, there was a, a tweet from uh, the creator of Hello Games, Sean Murray, <laughs> and uh, all it basically said was uh, something about animals don't poop uh, when there's a predator or something like that. <laughs> the difficulty of writing patch notes, something like that. <laughs> Oh, it's so hard when it's in the rock. Little animals poop little tiny bits. Big animals poop huge amounts. <laughs> I don't really want to uh, shoot that rock with these guys. Because uh, they'll run away. If you even pull out a gun, they'll run away. You don't even have to... Uh, look at these butterflies. Butterfly somewhere else. I can't get to it. The rock's in the way. <laughs> it's a pretty funny T-Rex. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Oh, I don't have a cold shield yet. <laughs> you also got to get them to move away from their poop. <laughs> Let's see how much I actually have. I might have more than I think. Uh, 235 and 225. That should be good. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, in order to grow frostwort, we also need dioxide, which I think I have. I think it's in the roamer. Why not? My ship's right there. Did I forget to build the thingy? <laughs> thought I built the thingy. Maybe that was on my permadeath save. <laughs> I have 15 save files and yeah, I get confused. that thing. That's a container. That's a container. I forgot to build the thing. That was my other ship. <laughs> it's not the right file. Here we go. I need three warp cells. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, right there. Why does it keep doing that? Available to build one, just not right there. There we go. We'll put it behind the nutrient processor. Here we go. Ah, oh, irritation. <laughs> uh, let's see. The only uh, container that has stuff in it that we don't have on us is this one. And so I'm just going to check really quickly and make sure I don't have any plants in here. Just that one. Just selenium. All right. Let's go home and uh, build a biodome, our first one, and plant some facium. Uh, facium is one of the two plants that you don't need uh, anything, uh, I believe there's two, uh, that you don't need anything with them to plant them. Everything else will require uh, some formula. So, uh, for instance, the frostwort requires dioxide, the selenium requires um, phosphorus, uh, you need uranium for gamma weed, uh, we'll get to all of that. I can't wait until we have a bigger ship or until I make this ship bigger so I can put all the pulse engines in. <laughs> it takes forever to fly anywhere. No, I don't want your space junk. <laughs> Go sell space junk to somebody else. <laughs> Ouch. Really? <laughs> My inventory is full. <laughs> I wonder what kind of fruit grows on an inventory. <laughs> Alrighty. Good grief. We went to a space station we've never, or to a system we've never been to before and I didn't stop and get suit slots. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry. Alright, and Hobic. I understand that whooshing sound in space because you're flying past stuff, but I don't understand it when you're teleporting. Now, the farm is going to be uh, down there. Uh, probably most of the base will be down there when I get to that point. But for doing the farmer uh, mission, we want this to be close by. So we're going to put it right here. And uh, what? What? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't understand what it wanted me to do. <laughs> All right, we need a wall. We need a corridor. There's a corridor. And we need to make glass. And right here. Uh, where's the frostboard? Oh, I'm a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do with the frost port? It's right there. I also need to get out the other stuff. But not right this instant. Alright, biodomes require five pieces of glass and possibly something else that I've forgotten. Oh, it was right there. 
Uh, magnetized ferrite. There we go. Now we need some power. So let's go grab some power. <laughs> uh, right there it is. We'll just walk it over here. And right up there. Go. <laughs> Every time I walk past the Viking, he belches. It's so rude. <laughs> All right, the first plant we need to plant is. Yeah, that thing is too short. The first thing we need to plant is facium. There we go. Gut rot. Gut rot flower only requires the facium itself and uh, so we don't have to worry about that there it is and uh, let's see where the dioxide is uh, is it in cargo? no where did I put the dioxide? oh it's in the rumor the roamer I called the other day. I called the roamer the rover. <laughs> Come here, rover. <laughs> uh, dioxide. Here we go. Let me out. Uh, why am I planting? I don't think I even can plant frostwort. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the um, blueprint for it. No, I don't. Okay. Hopefully that comes up soon because. We need to start growing frostwort. Hi. <laughs> and in facium. Here we go. Frostwort. Yay. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about it? Okay. <laughs> the frostwort is a tricky thing, friend. It grows in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to drop in like uh, four of these for right now. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm going to have to restart my game to fix that sound problem. <laughs> and there's Solar Vine. He still wants to talk to us. <laughs> Look at how the text is uh, running up into his name there. Your next crop will be Solar Vine, a plant that grows deep within the mantle of scorched worlds. Dude, I've seen it on the surface. <laughs> okay. We already have the phosphorus on us. As you see, the uh, the menu takes me directly to where I need to go. There we go. Uh, the biggest problem with farming is that that grow time you see there on the left left hand side, 16 hours. Oh. <laughs> uh. Grow. <laughs> I have cultivated the selenium. There we go. And the next thing is fungal mold, which we don't yet have. <laughs> Goofball. <laughs> yes, I will go get some fungal mold. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's pick this up before I forget about it. <laughs> it's dark everywhere I go. Oh, it's dark. Oh, the sun's coming up. How lovely. We get a sunrise. Oh, that's so nice. So beautiful here. <laughs> Tomorrow when we come back, we're going to continue with the scientist. We're going to go talk to that pirate that the armorer wants us to find. And uh, we will go get some fungal mold. <laughs> Let's watch the sun sunrise. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.